I've got something real special. So I have discovered uh, in both the 27 millimeter and the 35 millimeter piezos, the position of the potentiometer knob on the ultrasound, which causes, causes a change in the harmonic responses of both of those piezos. I figured it out by watching Alexi's tuning videos, the zoom videos that we had, and I observed how far he turned that knob before he hit the button. When I got my knob into about the approximate same spot, that's where I noticed this phase change. So let's watch what happens. Right now I have it bottomed out at the very, very bottom. I'm gonna turn it uh, clockwise to go up in frequency and down in amplitude. So you're gonna hear the ultrasound turn on. All right, looks horrible. Let's turn this up to the ultrasound range. All right, now you can't really hear it. All right, now what we're gonna see happen is we're gonna see this line here. Oh, it's a touch screen, so to me as I change, touch it. Uh, we're gonna see this line here take on an added hump in the middle. It's either gonna appear or disappear depending on the frequency. So it's flattened out. It's gonna pop back as they go up. Right there. All right, I'll go back down. All right, so you see we got the ski slope with a little jump on the end. There's going to be a mogul right on that jump. Boink! All right, let's zoom in on that a little bit. I do apologize for the jitter. There's not a whole lot that can be done about that. It's a little better. All right, so let's go back down. All right, look at that. We got our ski jump. A little spike there, but as I go up in frequency just a little bit, uh, up in frequency, katink, there it is. So if I bring this back down, so now it's below the phase change, and now I hit the button like Lexi does, I can get it to pop in. Oh, come on, it was doing it for me. Can I get it to go a little closer? There it is. See, I got the jump to pop in, and now I should be able to get it, yep, out and in. It's still in, come on, go out. Okay, well, I can't get it out now. There we go. So when it's right on this edge, it's really sensitive to pushing the button to push it into that state. Don't jump in. There it is. Patank. All right. Now I'm going to keep this running as I change the buzzer from the 35 millimeter buzzer to the 25 millimeter buzzer. Or the 27 millimeter buzzer, I mean. Because Alexi used both. And the wave shapes look a little bit different. But happens on both of them. It seems to happen at a lower frequency on the 35 than it does on the 27. Let me get this all connected up here. All right. Uh, there we go. You can see I got my 27 all connected up now. Let that hang there. All right, turn her back on. Let's turn it all the way back down. Turn it on. Yuck. This guy up here. Let's look for where it phase changes. Getting close. Tink. Now let's get it out. Got to bring it way back down. All right, I'm going to get it close again, hopefully before it does katink. I'm out there, and I'm going to hit the button. Can I katink it in with the button? Katink with the button. Say what? Say what? 
Oh, and just for that added little sweetness, you can't hear it on the microphone, but the transistor on this guy, it starts audibly ringing when it's right next to this. I don't know, like a strange sound kind of ring. I'm a bit excited, folks. Oh my God.